Well, an election result that I'm sure is deeply unpopular in Brussels today, this being the Hungarian election, a big win for Viktor Orban's party, described as setting the stage for more battles with the EU. And of course, we know there has been huge friction between Viktor Orban's government in Hungary and the European Union. Orban recently, of course, Hungary coming under huge criticism for being too close to Putin, too soft on Russia after the invasion of Ukraine. What we do know is that a huge number of Ukrainian refugees have gone to Hungary. Hungary didn't veto EU sanctions on Russia with Orban quote at the time is saying with regard to sanctions we will not veto them, we will not block the EU from imposing sanctions on Russia. He said now the unity of the EU is paramount. Orban also allowing NATO troops into Hungary but on the other hand banning weapons from going to Kiev, banning the shipment of weapons and lethal equipment to Ukraine and also opposing a ban on Russian energy imports with Orban quotas saying while we condemn Russia's armed offensive and we also condemn the war we will not allow Hungarian families to be made to pay the price. Now Ukrainian President Zelensky who I think has been an inspirational leader actually addressed Hungary recently in a speech saying I want to stop here and be honest once and for all you have to decide for yourself who you are with. But look, in terms of the actual result of the election yesterday, uh, we saw with nearly 100% of the vote counted, uh, Viktor Orban's party win a two-thirds parliamentary majority. And in his speech, Viktor Orban hailed the win over the overwhelming force of the left at home, the international left all around us, the Brussels bureaucrats, the Soros empire with all its money, the international mainstream media, and in the end, even the Ukrainian president. He described it as a great victory, a victory so great that you can see it from the moon and certainly from Brussels. Uh, Orban also quoted as saying that patriotism does not belong to the past but to the future. Christianity is not a thing of the past. A conservative policy of civilization is not the past but the future. And as the PPC note, uh, this certainly a headache for the EU, Orban's victory. Also saying there that you could almost hear the collective thud of EU hearts sinking last night so look a big election victory for victor orban's party guys let me know what you make of that in the comments below as ever i will keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more so please do give this video a quick thumbs up and of course as ever thanks for watching